Alrighty, folks, gather around, gather down. It's yeah. showtime. Fire it up, Sammy. Professional motorcycle maniac breaking all the laws of gravity and sanity for your entertainment pleasure. The first act you're going to see is. The bike belonged to uh, the great Bonnie Pelequin. She was one of the Pelequin families. All wall riders today can trace their roots back to one of the one of the Pelequins. All right. Actually, when we got the bike, it came with a contract from 1948, I think it was, for her to perform as an aerial artist and a wall rider. There's been stories, but they can't really prove it. But reportedly, she used to ride with her husband and they would switch bikes while on the wall. Oh and we tried to figure out how she would do it. So we're like, she was tiny, so he probably rode high and she climbed up to his bike and he just side saddled and slid down. I mean, she was one of the greatest female wall riders ever. And that's now awesome. the other one that's in there, we don't talk about it, well, it's Speedy. Yeah. Speedy belonged to a man named Speedy Babs, who was, they, they called him the man from Mars. Speedy Babs. He was a total showman, had one of the largest globe of deaths. It was like a 50-foot diameter monster out on Atlantic City Pier. Yeah. All right, so he, he'd come out looking like Marvin the Martian. He had all, like, tin cans on his stuff, and there was a rocket on his motorcycle, and he'd start doing his globe act, and all this, it was all pyrotechnics. Fireworks, we'd go off, it'd all get smoky, and all of a sudden he'd get dead quiet. Everybody's like, what's going on? He had this ventilation system set up. All of a sudden, the fans would come on, and he'd be standing at the bottom smoking a cigarette. Show's over, folks. Have a nice day. He'd come down in Haiti. So we got two bikes, and we're keeping them alive. That's awesome. So it's right on. You're Amazing welcome, stories. man. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you all too. This, we're all stories here, man. Perform what we call the dips and dives of death. Tell by looking at him that he's a trained professional. He won't hurt you a little further out. 